A revolutionary wind turbine that could slash your energy bills to zero, survive hurricane force winds, and power your entire off-grid home for up to 30 years without breaking a sweat. Sounds too good to be true? Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll see why this Icelandic beast is dethroning solar panels as the ultimate renewable energy king. We're talking about the Icewind Turbine, engineered by a company from Iceland, a place where Mother Nature throws blizzards, gale force winds, and endless nights like confetti. If it can thrive there, imagine what it can do for you. But don't take my word for it yet. Let's dive deep into why this isn't just another gadget, but a game changer for energy independence. And trust me, the jaw-dropping comparisons coming up will make you rethink everything you know about going green. First off, forget everything you think you know about wind turbines. You know those massive, propeller-like giants dotting wind farms? Those are horizontal axis wind turbines, haw tees, spinning like airplane props and cranking out power on a massive scale. They're awesome for utility companies feeding the grid. But for your backyard? Not so much. They need constant wind from one direction, make a racket like a jet engine, and can be a hazard to birds and bats with those razor-sharp blades whipping at high speeds. Enter the Ice Wind Turbine, a vertical axis wind turbine, VAWT, that's basically the smart, tough cousin of those behemoths. Picture six sleek blades spinning around a central axis like a high-tech carousel. It's compact, elegant, and built to handle the chaos of real-world weather. But here's the hook. This design isn't just different. It's superior in ways that could save you thousands. Curious how? Let's break it down step by step, and I'll tease this. By the time we get to the cost savings, you'll be calculating your own payback period. The magic starts with its omnidirectional superpower. Unlike Hauteese that have to yaw and pivot like a weather vane to chase the wind, the ice wind captures gusts from 360 degrees. Wind shifting from north to south? No problem. It keeps spinning without missing a beat. This means more consistent power generation, even in turbulent urban or suburban spots where wind plays hide-and-seek between buildings and trees. Second, noise? What noise? This thing hums at under 30 decibels, quieter than a whisper in a library. Compare that to traditional turbines that can hit 50 to 60 decibels, annoying your neighbors and scaring off wildlife. Speaking of which, safety is huge here. The blades are blunt, move at slower RPMs, Think 100 to 200 versus haw tees blistering 1,000 plus and are visible to birds and bats, reducing collision risks by up to 90% according to wildlife studies. No more guilt about going green at nature's expense. But durability? That's where Icewind flexes its Icelandic roots. Forged from aerospace-grade composites and stainless steel, it's sealed tight against dust, ice, water, sand, you name it. Tested in Iceland's brutal conditions, it laps off winds over 130 miles per hour. That's Category 4 hurricane territory, and temperatures from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. While other turbines might shudder and shut down in a storm, this one powers through, keeping your lights on when the grid fails. And get this, minimal moving parts mean virtually no maintenance. No oil changes, no blade replacements, just set it and forget it for decades. We're talking a lifespan of 25 to 30 years, backed by real-world installs in remote telecom towers and off-grid cabins. Imagine installing this once and watching it outlast your mortgage. But how does it actually work? It combines the Savonius drag principle for low-wind startup with Darius Lift for efficiency in high winds. Inner blades act like scoops to kick things off at just 5 to 6 miles per hour, while outer ones harness lift like sails. The result? Efficient torque that turns wind into electricity smoother than a hybrid car. 
Stick with me, because next up, we'll meet the models that could fit your exact setup, and one of them might just be the perfect match for your off-grid dreams. Icewind offers two killer models tailored for different lifestyles. The Freya for city slickers and suburban warriors, and the Njord, sometimes called Nord in some markets, for rural rebels and remote adventurers. Let's start with the Freya. The compact powerhouse designed for urban and suburban chaos, where winds are milder and more unpredictable. At about 5 feet tall and 4 feet wide, it's sleek enough to mount on your roof, balcony, or even a pole without turning your home into an eyesore. In 25 miles per hour winds, it pumps out 150 to 200 watts, enough to run lights, charge devices, or supplement your grid. But here's the exciting part. Recent 2026 updates from Icewind hint at boosted versions hitting 500 watts soon, making it even more viable for partial off-grid living. Startup wind? A mere 5.5 miles per hour breeze. And it's plug and play. Connect to your home's electrical system, a battery bank, or an inverter for seamless off-grid use. Installation? DIY friendly in a weekend with basic tools, or pros can handle it for under $500. Now, if you're out in the sticks where winds howl consistently, the Njord is your beast. Bigger at around 7 to 8 feet tall, it's built for rural and remote setups, cranking 800 to 1000 watts in those same 25 mile per hour gusts. Powering fridges, TVS, well pumps, or even a small workshop. That's real off-grid muscle, folks. Like the Freya, it's omnidirectional, silent, and wildlife safe, but with extra reinforcements for extreme conditions. Both models integrate with solar for hybrid systems, ensuring 24-7 power. Prices? Freya starts at $3,200, Njord around $5,400, including basic install kits, but excluding shipping or taxes. Order direct from Icewind.is or US dealers. But why choose wind over the solar panels everyone's raving about? Hold on, because the next section exposes solar's dirty secrets and why Icewind crushes them. You won't want to miss this showdown. It could save you from a costly mistake. Let's talk solar. PV panels are everywhere, turning sunlight into electricity and promising a green future. They're clean, reduce your carbon footprint by tons annually, and can slash bills in sunny spots. In ideal conditions, a home array might generate 10 to 20 kilowatt hours daily, powering most needs. But here's the clickbait truth. Solar has massive hidden flaws that could leave you in the dark, literally. First, it's a fair weather friend. Panels need direct sun, producing zilch at night, on cloudy days, or in winter's short hours. In places like Seattle or the UK, output drops 50 to 70 percent, forcing pricey battery backups. Think $10,000 plus for Tesla Powerwalls, or grid reliance. Second, degradation is real. Efficiency drops 0.5 to 1 percent yearly from UV, heat, and dirt, meaning 20 to 25 percent less power after a decade. Most panels warranty out at 25 years, but you'll replace them sooner, adding thousands in costs. Third, Space Hog. You need a south-facing roof, north in the southern hemisphere, free of shade from trees or buildings, bird poop, snow or dust. Output tanks unless you climb up and clean regularly. Not fun in a storm. And placement? Forget balconies or shaded yards. Panels demand prime real estate, often 200 to 400 square feet for a decent setup. In urban areas, that's a non-starter. Plus, manufacturing impacts. Rare earth mining for panels isn't as green as advertised, with supply chain issues spiking prices in 2026. Don't get me wrong, solar's great in deserts, but for reliable, all-weather power? It's got gaps big enough to drive a turbine through.
What if there was a solution that fixes all this, and then some? Coming up, the ice winds knock out punches against solar that make it the smarter, tougher choice. If you're tired of blackouts or high bills, this is the part that'll hook you. Buckle up. The ice wind turbine doesn't just compete with solar. It dominates in ways that'll make you question why we ever went all in on panels. Advantage 1. Total independence from weather and time. Wind blows day and night, rain or shine, more predictable than sun in most places. Global wind maps show average speeds of 10 to 20 miles per hour in 70% of inhabited areas, meaning steady power without backups. No sun? No problem. Ice wind keeps churning. You could even sell excess back to the grid via net metering, turning your home into a mini power plant. In off-grid setups, pair with smaller batteries for 100% reliability. Advantage 2. No degradation drama. Unlike solar's slow fade, ice wind's efficiency holds steady for 25 to 30 years. Wind, rain, snow, it thrives on them, self-cleaning with spinning action that shakes off debris. No efficiency loss from exposure, just consistent output, saving you replacement headaches and costs. Advantage 3. Space savvy and flexible. Mount anywhere. Roof, pole, fence, balcony. No orientation needed. It fits in spots solar can't touch, like north-facing homes or tiny lots. At 5 to 8 feet tall, it's discreet. Not an eyesore like panel arrays. And maintenance? Zip. No washing. No inverters failing. Just annual visual checks. Environmentally? Lower carbon footprint over its life, recyclable materials, and no mining horrors. In 2026 studies, hybrid wind solar setups with ice wind cut costs 30% versus solar only. Real users report powering cabins in Alaska winters or urban apartments in windy Chicago. But the real kicker? The money. Stay tuned for the shocking cost breakdown and how fast this pays for itself faster than you think, especially with 2,026 incentives. All right, the moment of truth. How much for this energy freedom? And when do the savings kick in? The Freya rings in at $3,200 base, Njord at $5,400. That's for the turbine, mount, and basic wiring. Add $200 to $500 for shipping. Taxes vary by location and pro-install if needed, though many DIY I it. Compare to solar, a comparable one to two kilowatt panel setup, $8,000 to $15,000 installed, plus batteries, 